Sometimes you may be required to completely rebuild a ditch. V-ditching is the most common type of drainage ditch. At two feet lower than the road, they efficiently carry water away from the road surface. Here's how to mark and cut a V-ditch. Keep the frame straight so the tandems track in the ditch. Tip the mold board so the top is about two inches ahead of the cutting edge. Set the toe, the leading edge of the mold board, in line with the outside edge of the tire in the ditch. Raise the heel. On the first or marking pass, have the mold board at almost 45 degrees to the frame. Lower the toe to make the shallow marking pass while in first or second gear. Lock the differential to help keep the machine in a straight line. If you're making a marking pass around a tight curve, do not lock the differential. Lean the top of the front wheels toward the heel of the mold board. Just enough to counteract the side graft. On the second pass, put the wheels in the marking pass to help hold the machine in line. Keep the heel raised to increase the depth of the cut. Once you've established the ditch line, you can increase your speed and depth on succeeding passes. While you're building and cleaning ditches, you may have to dispose of sod and excess soil. We'll cover a few of the disposal methods. Depending on the width of the right-of-way, you can blade the sod over into a ravine or move it away from the road onto the back slope. Swing the mold board into the high bank position to put the material on the back slope. Roll the mold board forward and place the toe near the front tire so you can cast the material up on the slope and off the road. In this position, your view of the toe is restricted. Use caution so you don't puncture the tire with the mold board. 